have been crucified with Christ. Romans chapter 6 verses 3 to 7. Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. For he who has died has been freed from sin. In Romans chapter 6 and in other places in his epistles, the Apostle Paul unweighs to us what we refer to as the truth of identification. This truth of identification means that God determined to accomplish something uh, in the moment or in Christ's death, burial and resurrection. And when Christ was going through this, God decided that you and I would be identified or will be made one with him. Just as Christ was made one with us in our sin, we, have, we were made one with him in his crucifixion, in his burial, uh, in his resurrection, his ascension, and his seating at the right hand of the Father. And this truth of identification is something we want to delve into this week and talk about how it relates to us, how it applies to us as believers here today. Now, keep in mind that this is a spiritual reality. It is a spiritual truth. So although in our mind, we may question, how could I, who am living 2000 years after Christ, uh, be identified with Jesus' death, which took place 2000 years ago in time. But in the realm of the spirit, time is a non-entity. Time doesn't exist. In the realm of the spirit, in the mind of God, this was accomplished. This actually happened. And that is the truth of identification. It is a spiritual truth, a spiritual reality, a positional truth in Christ. And we can live out of that in our time and space realm. The first aspect of our identification with Christ is that we have been crucified with Him. Like it says in Romans 6 and verse 6, knowing this, that our old man was crucified with Him. So when Christ was crucified on the cross, something of you, something of me, was crucified with him. The Bible says the old man was crucified with him. The old man represents that sinful, Adamic nature, what we inherited through Adam. That sin nature, the power of sin was destroyed. The body of sin was crucified. And I want you to know that in Christ, your old sinful nature was nailed to the cross. Its control over you was broken. The old man was, broke, was killed, was crucified, was put to death. You no longer have the old man. That has been put to death, which means you are free from the power of sin. You have been crucified with Christ. That sin nature has been put to death. And in Christ, you are free from the dominion of sin. Sin no longer has dominion over you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this truth of identification, what you've done for us in identifying us with Christ. We embrace the truth that our old man, the sinful nature, has been put to death. Sin can no longer have dominion over us because he who is dead is freed from sin. And I pray, O oh God, that we will walk in this truth in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.